Hey guys, what's up? It's GTO Technology, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a plugin for Bucket that locks doors from players who don't have a certain permission. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be using Eclipse and obviously Java, which is what we will be coding in. If you haven't coded in Java before, or if you haven't coded in Bucket before, this might be a little bit too complex to start off on, and you should reference the tutorial in the annotation above, or below, or to the left, or to the right. Uh, depends on wherever I feel like you know, putting it. Um, so without further ado, we should probably just get started. Um, the first thing you'll need is obviously the bucket.jar. And if you don't have it already, I'll just go ahead and guide you along. Go to dl.bucket.org. Once there, you'll see a link that says what's new under the craft bucket recommended build button. Once you select that, you'll be taken to a new page, which um, We'll say bucket at the top, and then right beneath that, you'll see in the tab bar bucket, just bucket, not chat bucket, scrap bucket, home bucket, craft bucket, just just bucket. So click on that. Then you'll see something called recommended build. Now this is the latest build that is uh, stable or proven stable, and uh, it's what most most people would prefer. If you if you really want to be on the like cutting edge, or if you want to be using like you know. The latest features that they add you'd want to go with the latest beta build and if you really want to kind of just experiment around with a less completely well not completely unstable but very unstable build you go with the development build so we will just be using the recommended build uh, once you do that you just click download downloads to your computer and then you locate the file and uh, keep it somewhere where you can find it in just a few moments and that's what we will be using to link up to our Java project so that we can reference the Minecraft functions within Bucket. Once you've done that, let's just go ahead and go over to Eclipse. Okay, so to create a new project in Eclipse, as you should know, you go to File, New, and then you go to Java Project in the menu bar above. We're going to call this Java Project Door Lock. Capital D, Capital L. Once you've created this project, we're going to make a new package which will contain our coding. So to, right, to make a new package, you need to right click door lock, go to new, and then go to package. So I'm going to call it me.myign, which is geek play. I'm going to keep that lower cased. And then capital D and then capital L door lock. Once you do that, just press enter. And then you'll see that the new package is created underneath the project folder. To create a new class under the package, just right click the package, go to new, and then to class. I don't know if I said class underneath the package or package underneath the package. What we're doing is we're making a new class. So for the name, also call it door lock with a capital D and a capital L. Alright, so as you can see, we have a newly created class. It'll say package.me.urign.doorlock, and then the public class name will be door lock. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is handle some variables which we will be using throughout this class. Um, the first one will be our player listener class, which will handle um, detecting when the player interacts with the door. So to uh, reference this class, which we haven't made yet, but we will make later, we do public player listener, capital P, capital L, player listener, lowercase b, equals new player listener. And just like the first one, you're going to capitalize the P and the L. Alright, so as you can see, we're going to get a few red squiggly lines, which means that there is an error. And that's because the class hasn't been made yet. So anytime we reference player listener, we're going to get an error. But this will be fixed um, not too far from now. Next thing we need to reference is the server log, which is where we will be displaying messages when it's enabled and disabled. And if we want, when the player interacts with the door and they can't use the door. Um, to reference the, the logging class, or the server log class, do public logger capital L lowercase l log equals logger dot get logger parentheses quotation marks minecraft and then finish it off with a semicolon so what this is is that log the name log or the variable log is short for logger dot get logger minecraft and it's of the type logger so that's basically the format for variables player listener is short for new player listener and it's of the type player listener all right, so next we're going to define our permission, which just as the variable above will be, we'll start off with public, then the type permission, then the name of the uh, the name of the variable. So open permission with a capital P is short for or equals new permission 
quotation marks, or sorry, parentheses, quotation marks, door lock, dot open, and finish it off with a semicolon. Of course, afterwards, we need to import the type permission. So right click that, or just hover over it, sorry. And do import, which reminds me, we need to now import the bucket.jar, which we downloaded to reference the Minecraft functions. To do this, you need to right click, door lock, go to properties, go to Java build path, add external jars, and then add bucket.jar. Press open, press OK, and there we go. Now we can uh, reference the Minecraft functions. So to import permission, now we can just hover over permission and do import permission org.bucket.permissions. OK, so now that we've defined our three main variables, the permission, which let me just click out. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that, but whatever. Just ignore it. I must have done something. Um, that says open permission. Um, so we've defined our player listener class, our logger, or server log, and then our permission. So now we're going to handle what happens when our plugin is disabled. To do that, we type at override, capital O. Underneath that, we're going to type public void on disable, opening curly bracket. Within that, we're going to type plugin description file. We're defining a variable. PDF file equals this dot get description. So you can check back and see what's capitalized here. Um, make sure that's spelled correctly. Um, so as you can see, PDF PDF files of the type plugin description file, which is short for this dot get description. So let's go ahead and import plugin description file. And now we're going to broadcast a message to the server log. Did I misspell something here? All right, so now that we've gotten this error, I do need to remind myself at public class after door lock, you need to type extends Java plugin. You have to do this after importing bucket, and that way we can fully reach the Minecraft functions. Uh, when prompted, import Java plugin. So I'm a little bit sloppy today, it's late, um, but you know, I'll, I'll make sure I sort out any errors that we might get. Um, Underneath this variable, get this dot get description, we're going to type, we're going to send a message to the log. So we're going to do log dot info, parentheses, quotation marks, or no quotation marks because we're putting in a variable here, PDF file dot get name. So now we've gotten the name of our plugin. We're going to add a little space in between this next variable. So we're going to do plus quotation marks space plus again. And we're going to type PDF file dot get version. Uh, and then plus, we're going to add a string saying is now disabled. Finish off with a period and finish off that line with a semicolon. So now it says door lock 1.0 is now disabled. Okay, so we're basically going to be doing the same thing for on enable but with a few more lines. So what we can do to save ourselves some time is just copy this block of code uh, from the at override down to the closing curly bracket for on disable and paste it in again. So we're going to replace this time on disable with on enable. We're going to change is now disabled to is now enabled. And then underneath that, we're going to contact our plugin manager, which will allow us to register the permission, which we named at the top of this document, and then register the player listener class. To do this, we just type plugin manager pm equals get server dot get plugin manager so pm is short for get server dot plugin manager which is of the type plugin manager so go ahead and import plugin manager and underneath underneath that we're going to define the open door permission to do this just do pm dot add permission open permission within parentheses and then finish off with a semicolon so now we just registered the open permission permission which we defined at the top all right so now we need to register our player listener class which as i stated before will return an error because we have not defined or created the player listener class just yet thankfully this is the last line that we will be adding on this class and then the rest will be done on the player listener class which is even shorter i believe than this one okay so to register the player listener class, we just do get server dot get 
plugin manager dot register events this dot player listener this so argument zero is just this dot player listener and argument one is just this so now we've registered our player listener class and it's time to make the player listener class